Hey everyone and welcome back to Top Days Italia. Today is day four. So today's video is going to be a how-to video on how to improve your ponche. And I've got to say this has been super requested for literally my whole time on YouTube and I'm finally doing this video. So I won't ramble on too much. Let's get straight into the video. Okay, so let's start with the first tip on how to improve your ponche. So I'm going to give a couple of exercises and stretches before I go into the pointers of how to help you when you're in the ponche. So first off, I suggest being fairly warm. So we're going to do the splits. I suggest using a roller if you can, um, so you can go over the splits, because when you are past split, it then will help you be perfectly flat. Obviously in a poncho though, you're not going to be flat. It's very, very hard because you've got to keep your muscles down below and the top. But I do suggest stretching over splits. And also putting the roller at the back will help um, more than the front because that's obviously what you want to be the highest thing is the back leg. So doing it with the roller at the back is really good. So also if you want, you can go back and forward, just to stretch this part. Alright, so once we've done the splits, now let's go on to an exercise for the back and the legs. This is basically going to help your back stay up while you're in a ponche. So all you want to do is lie on your back. It's kind of like a back up thing that I usually do with my workouts. But instead of just doing the upper back, you want to do the leg and the back together. So you want to change, you want to go the right arm, left leg, down, other leg, down, and then front, and then back. And you want to do this a couple times, maybe three times in a little set. I'll just quickly show you one set for you. So you want to go up, down, up, down, front, back. And then you just basically want to repeat that. Okay, so the next thing, um, I won't show you because it's a little bit hard in this room, but all you want to do for this next one is basically doing the splits but on the wall. This is going to get to the feeling of a ponche even more, but obviously your back's going to be uh, touching the floor. So yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. That's just gonna help with the flexibility of the ponche. So now let's go on to another exercise. This is more for the supporting leg and strengthening that. Because the main, one of the main things in a ponche is the supporting leg and activating it. If you are not activating the leg in a ponche, it's just gonna, no offense, but it's going to fail. <laughs> You're gonna go everywhere. So that's the most important thing. So let's start in parallel. And all you wanna do is go into a retire. And you basically just wanna go forward like this and then come back up. If you want as well, you can grab the bar and go forward, let go, and then touch again just to keep your center. But if you've got it a little bit better, Try not and hold it. It is much harder, but it will strengthen the sides of your legs. And of course, make sure you do this on the upper leg as well. And from the side, it just looks like that. Don't worry about the back being up. Just try and keep it parallel. And you can do as many as you need to, around five to 10, just so you really feel it. Okay, so the final uh, stretching thing is using a flexi stretcher or like an extend bend pro. Both of these work the exact same, so you can choose either one. I think today, I don't know which one to go for. If this was live, I'd probably ask you guys and go, which one should I choose? <laughs> um, maybe I'll just go with the flexi stretcher. I'm falling. <laughs> And basically this is going to stretch your arabesque and what I can suggest as well 
is in this position, going down to ponche. Just really stretch it. Don't worry about holding the supporting leg yet. And then just going up. Forward. And up. And forward. And up. So once you've done those uh, forward and up things on both legs, now I suggest doing it without the band. So you want to go in arabesque and you want to go forward and do not try and split into it. Really keep this leg activated and come up and just do that again. my back. Do those a couple of times and then you want to I guess try in the center but before we do that I just wanted to give you some pointers before you go into the center. Now quickly I'm not too sure if I said this at the beginning of the video but I wanted to let you know that these ponches are more for when you're by yourself in the center. It can be very easy to do a ponche if a boy's holding you so I'm just letting you know these tips are for when you're by yourself. So the first tip, like I was saying, the supporting leg is super important. Do not let that go. The second tip I have for you is thinking like your leg and back is a V. So when you're in that position, you want to keep that V while you go down and up. So when you go down as well, you want to lead with the leg. And when you come up, you want to lead with the back. So it's like pushing against each other, really trying to just like push it all together. So yeah, that's what you want to think of. With the arms as well, you want to start in this position and keep a nice long line. You don't want to drop it low or up. You want to keep it nice and parallel. And another really important tip as well when you are going to ponche, your eye line has to look out and down. Try not and move your eye line and don't look up because that's not a very nice line. When you go down, you just want to keep it along with your leg. Not with your leg. You want to keep it <laughs> along with your arm. So I will give a quick demonstration. It's also about doing it a lot. Personally, I haven't been doing it a lot recently, but um, it's about practice and doing it heaps and heaps and heaps. Also, if you want as well, if you have a mirror, it'd be a good idea if you start in this and you go straight down as well, like that, to also try and align your body because you don't want to be going everywhere. So that is a really good idea as well. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you did. Make sure you are subscribed to my YouTube channel so you are notified for all of my 12 Days of Tali videos. And I guess that is it for today. I will see you tomorrow. Bye!